Hi there, so if you just use the rowing machine for a little bit of fitness at the gym or at home, but you don't really care about being a better rower, then I'm hoping that this workout today will suit you just fine. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two minutes, a good medium intensity, stroke rate run about 24 strokes a minute and a good old push with the legs. And then we're gonna do 30 seconds of an isometric squat. If you don't know what that is, basically you just have a seat, into a squat position and hold this for 30 seconds. Just think about your day. Do, 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 do. When the 30 seconds is up, you get back on the machine and you do another two minutes rowing. And we're gonna do this five times. So that's gonna be a good 10 minutes worth of rowing, which actually will give you a great workout. On top of that, you get these squats as well and you're gonna walk off the machine feeling fantastic, okay? Now we're gonna add another four minutes to this because we have to do a warm up in order to make sure that we're ready to row, ready to rock, all right? so. I'll go through my quick spiel about setting up your machine first. On a Concept2, you go to the drag factor and you set it where you want it to be. If you don't have a drag factor, you don't have a number or anything, just set it to like four or five for the time being and then read a bit about drag factor. Um, if you're not on a Concept2, just set it so you get a nice feel from the stroke, uh, but you don't have to tug against, you don't have to heave it. If you have a machine where you can adjust your uh, monitor height, please set it to eye height so you're not looking up, not looking down. And finally, if you can adjust your foot stretch, just set them to a height where you're able to come into the front of the machine with your shins pointing vertically okay um, that way uh, you'll kind of reduce the chances of any kind of hyperextension of your back and you'll make sure and get in there for a full compression all right wave to the people flying overhead and then we will start our four minute warm-up and I just do this as though it's basically the power from your legs as though you're just standing up okay while we just think about getting our bodies nicely kind of ready for the day session okay in three two one let's go so we'll increase the intensity through this warm-up. But for the time being, just enough of a push of your feet to feel like you're putting some power in. But remember, it's a warm-up. It's not a hit the ground running up, okay? And while you're thinking about that push with the feet, this is when you start to think about what your upper body and your arms are doing. And so, you want to have arms straight at the front of the machine and a tilt over your hips so that you lean in towards the front of the machine. Okay, so it's not a collapse of the lower or upper back. A good posture, tilt forwards. Now it doesn't matter, this isn't about making you a better rower. This is about making sure you get the right workout from rowing. So you push with your feet at the front with straight arms, and then halfway through the stroke, you swing over your back, and then you pull in with your arms. And when you do it in that sequence, that's where you get the all over body workout from rowing. If you only think about it as a pulling sport where you're just yanking on the handle from the front, your legs don't get involved. So you lose half of your body basically from that possible workout. And so if you want to have a maximum calorie burn, or you want to tone up your arms and legs, then try to think about using all your muscles by rowing with a relatively good technique. You don't have to be an Olympic rower, but if you can think about not pulling until the back of the stroke, then you will let your legs do the majority of the work and then add in your arms. Right. We have just over a minute left in this warm up. So what to do is just push a little bit harder with your feet, maybe keep your stroke rate the same, but just push 
hard with your feet and you'll hear the tone of whatever rowing machine you're using will increase it'll get louder as you put more force into the machine and hopefully what we'll hear is a real whoosh from the front as you accelerate that power into the machine so you really want to hear it top loading with a real whoosh and it slows down at the back and that's a good sign that you are pushing properly with your legs okay two more strokes one more there we go so hopefully you feel nice and warm now if you don't you can continue to do some light rowing but I do recommend that you have a drink uh, here we go right sorry I was just loading in a session and then I remembered I don't need to load in the session so I'm just going to set this to just row in the monitor so I'm going to row for two minutes and then get off um, got my phone running as a stopwatch I think uh, stopwatch yes and I'll keep an eye on that for our 30 seconds uh, isometric squat okay so remember five times through two minutes and then squat two minutes squat two minutes squat okay here we go then hopefully you're ready for this so we're going to do run about 24 strokes a minute and your pace the power is going to be faster than what you were just doing then but not so fast that you feel completely exhausted okay so it's like if, if you think of an effort out of 10 we're looking around about seven or eight out of ten here okay if you do know um, a 2k training pace then we're looking at around about 2k plus 12 seconds okay so your average 2k pace plus 12 seconds okay here we go then in three two one let's go so two minutes of this should fly by <laughs> i hope it's the great thing about interval workouts like this is that you're only ever looking at the two minutes that's in front of you you're never really thinking about this being 10 minutes of rowing and that principle can be applied to any session that you do even if it's a single longer row so say you were doing 15 minutes on the rowing machine just set if you can the splits to three minutes and then only ever really think about those three minutes that you're currently rowing and then move on to the next one so if you're only looking at these small chunks of time you're never really looking too far ahead and kind of thinking oh 15 minutes is a long time to row for I do that if I'm doing like a 10,000 meter row I'll just program it in so that my splits are 1,000 meters so it feels like I'm just covering a thousand meters 10 times obviously the effort is exactly the same but it's about mental toll okay two one so climb off and then feet shoulder width apart have a seat hopefully my head didn't just poke at the top of the screen there but if it did it's a bit worrying <laughs> I'm not worrying but I apologize so, how are you today? It's 15 seconds gone. So just hold it here. You should feel the tension across your thighs, helping your hip flexors too. What did I say? Oh no, I've lost count. Okay, there we go. That may be in a little bit more than 30 seconds, but it's fine. 
Okay, you ready to get going into the next one? So same again, two minutes, 24 strokes a minute. We're not being totally rigid here. We are just doing two minutes and then 30 seconds of those isometric squats. But if it takes a couple of seconds to climb off the machine or to get back on it again, that's okay. We're just looking to make the rowing workout a bit more interesting. You can, of course, do this as two minutes and then just take 30 seconds rest, but this way you get a nice constant intensity for your legs. So it's a good old workout. And like I say, as long as you try and think about pushing with your feet from the front of the machine, it then allows you the full range of a pull at the back of the machine so that your arms still get a nice workout too. And then that good posture that lets you swing from that forward tilt to a backward tilt lets your back get in on the action too. One more stroke. There we go. Climb off. Get yourself sorted. Feet shoulder width apart. And have a seat. Right, 27. Remember, it's 57 we have to stop. I'm going to my stopwatch. I know. Other trainers are a lot more precise and professional than I am. Other trainers charge a lot of money for what they do. I do this for free. So, that's the contract I make with you. You get this for free because pff, I just have fun. Okay, five, six, seven. Back on the machine. Ah, get yourself strapped in. Ooh, ready? Let's go. I'm also taking my time a little bit here because I realize that being in socks, I'm very uh, quick to get in and out of the machine. Whereas I'm going to assume if you're in the gym, you're probably rowing with shoes on, or probably even if you're at home. Not many people row barefoot or in socks like I do. And it's probably taking you a little bit longer to get in and out of the machine, so I'm kind of trying to allow for that. If you do like this kind of a workout, kind of a little bit of rowing, a little bit of off the machine exercise, I do have a playlist up here on YouTube of high intensity interval training workouts, hip workouts, which all incorporate 30 seconds of fast rowing and then 30 seconds of different off the rower moves like press ups and squat jumps, rope climbs. Most of them you don't need equipment for. And even if I do use a kettlebell, I'll tell you what to do if you don't have anything. Okay, one more. There we go. So I'll just take my time coming out. Give you time to get out. 11 feet apart, down, okay. 
<laughs> just after, after forgetting what the timer was the first time round. And I'm paranoid I'm going to do it again. That's fine. Yeah, how are we? 15 seconds to go, I hope. I says for a lovely day. It's March as well. It's amazing. Okay. Three, two, one. Back on the machine. It's a good idea to do it relation-wise where I am because your seat will roll forwards while you're off. You ready? Let's go. Straight back up into that 24 strokes a minute pace and whatever speed you've been rowing at unless you were going way too slow or way too fast whatever speed you were going at I want you to continue through all of these intervals to row at that pace this is just a little bit of cardio training it's not designed to punish you and expand your performance as a rower it's just here so that if you're a gym user and you like to use the rowing machine as a little bit of cardio training then hopefully this will give you that workout and allow you to then go on to the treadmill or the bike or whatever you want next of course you can come back to this and go like max effort across the two minutes if you want to it's up to you I'll change the intensity and effect of a workout like this that's what's amazing about the rowing machine is that you just make it as hard or easy as you want here we go let's get off the machine there we go, here we go, have a seat oh, check, okay 35 yeah, so unlike a treadmill where you set in that pace or the incline and then you have to press all the buttons to change it or a spin bike where you adjust your tension or other machines the rowing machine the harder you push the harder it feels so even without you don't have to adjust anything at all okay two one and back on the seat here we go with our last two minute effort you ready let's go I don't know on concept two the lever on the side is quite attractive in terms of it's got a great big number 10 on it and you might think that setting it to 10 will give you a better workout it's not quite how it works yes it'll feel harder but likely what will happen is that you will end up um, heaving against it pulling early with your arms because it's so such a heavy weight therefore not getting the push from your legs and not getting the workout that you're meant to be from a rowing machine and it's all equal anyway basically level 1, level 10 on, a, on a concept 2 is just about how you put the effort in it's like climbing a set of stairs at one at a time or ten at a time if you race up the same flight of stairs on both settings you still have to cover the same distance 
It's just how you do it. And actually, the lower you set the lever, the more of a cardio workout you get. And so if that's what you're looking for with the rowing machine, you want to set it lower rather than higher. One more stroke. There we go. And our last isometric squat. Here we go. Then we get. Whole idea of just saying take a seat is almost as a way to try and keep your back straighter rather than leaning forwards. Kind of want your knees to be above your ankles. Good posture in your back. Butt sticking out. Where are we? It's 20 seconds gone. 10 more seconds and then we're done. Oh, three, two, one, done. There we go. So you can continue to row if you wish. Do, so, do a light cool down while I say goodbye. You can of course just press stop in the video and go, <laughs> go on a treadmill or something instead. Or, or if that's you done for the day, I recommend going and doing some kind of stretching. Stretch off your quads and your hip flexors especially because of those isometric squats, that's where you will have been feeling the tension through there, I hope. But there we go, that was a really simple workout. Just wanted to pull out the bag if you're at the gym thinking, what's I doing in the rowing machine today? A workout like that is perfect. And like I say, you can adjust the intensity. You can go, you can push harder with your legs through the, um, through the two minutes to make it a tougher workout. Uh, and uh, yeah, and that's how you can kind of adjust it from time to time to keep it fresh. You can even uh, do different moves when you get off the rowing machine. You can do press ups instead. You can do squat jumps. You can do whatever you want. So you can take that as a template and adjust it how you want it to be. But of course, I'll continue to make different videos up here anyway, which will do all that kind of stuff. So hopefully you can just look for one on here and just follow me. That's the point of this channel. So thank you so much for watching this one. Please let me know how you got on um, and make sure and have a look at some of the other videos, especially the HIIT workout videos I have up here. Um, and yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. So until then, take care, stay safe, be well, bye-bye.